Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome back to Putt Nuts. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you what to do with a pork loin. Now, these things many times go on sale for a reasonable price, but you got to buy the whole thing inside the bag. What are you going to do with it? Many people really don't know what to do with it. And they don't know how to make some of their favorite cuts like a butterfly pork chop and my personal favorite, a fried tenderloin sandwich. Or if you're German, you might call that a schnitzel. But we're going to talk about all these things today. We're going to show you how to make them. Six and a half years of cutting meat, I should know something about what to do with a pork loin. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share that knowledge with you, the viewer. That's what I'm here for, is to teach you how to do things. So, we're going to learn how to cut one of these babies up. And what do you make out of them? Well, there's several things you can make out of them. But before you start, you need to trim it up a little bit. I'm going to speed this part up for you so that it's not so dull. You can slow it down if you want to. But I'm going to trim a little bit of the fat and stuff off of it first. So here we go. Now, sometimes when you flip it over, this is what they call a rope. This one has a very thin rope and always look for that when you pick these up at the store. As a matter of fact, when you're looking at these at the store, you want one that's mushy and soft. You don't want one that's firm because firm means it's got a thicker piece of fat on top. And if this usually has a lot of fat in it and you might have to trim it off or just you might be able to pull it off. Sometimes they're so big. This one has a very nice, thin, meaty rope on it. So that won't be an issue. So. As you've seen, I just trimmed a little bit off of it. I actually got a little too deep here and got didn't really get any of the meat. I just got this silver skin off, but that doesn't hurt anything. This little bit of fat back here, see, it doesn't hurt anything. It's not enough to bother you. So, how do you start from here? Well, the first thing we're going to do is boneless pork chops. So you just take, slice it through, and make boneless pork chops. You cut them however thick you want. And this is what I suggest you do with the center cut end. The center cut end you can tell because it's all one color. There's no second color. There's no anything else in it. It's just a smooth, flat pork chop. So I got a few center cut pork, boneless pork chops off of that. Now, how do you make a butterfly pork chop? And I moved to Florida. I came from Illinois. Butterfly pork chops are everywhere up there. You come down here and you say butterfly pork chop. People are like, what is a butterfly pork chop? Well, it's really simple. You take your first cut and you cut almost all the way through. And then you take your second cut about the same thickness. And you cut it all the way through. Looks like a butterfly. See how easy that is. Just is. I'll show you again. You take and you cut most of the way through. Sometimes you have to go back and touch it up a little bit. Second time, you cut it all the way through. Like I said, looks kind of like a butterfly flapping his wings. That's how you make a butterfly pork chop. So I'm going to make a couple more of those because they're better off to be made out of the center cut chops, which is where we're at now in the center cut portion. Okay, that and I have a family of four, so I usually make four of everything. Now. That one I need to cut a little more. There. See? Now, we go from there. We have four center cut butterfly pork chops. Now, how do we go about making a pork tenderloin sandwich? You know, like I said, if you're German, you might call it a schnitzel, a pork schnitzel. Well, you could make a butterfly pork chop. If you really want a big one, you make a butterfly pork chop that's about three quarters of an inch thick on each side and before you pound it out. But I just generally make a regular size, so I make them about one inch thick, just like that. Cut them all the way through. Now, the main trick to cutting meat is you got to have a sharp knife. You don't have a sharp knife it's really difficult to cut meat and cut it properly so how do i do this i'll be right back to show you all right so we're back we have our center cut pork chops here i personally like to use a little farther down into the end it's more tender down farther into the into the meat but 
this will do for our purposes now. And you just take and you don't want to hit it too hard. You just kind of let it tenderize on its own. If you have a good mechanical tenderizer, that'll work really well too. Flip it over. Give it a good thorough pounding on the back side. There. That will make a wonderful pork tenderloin sandwich. Now what do you do with that? Well, you take it and you bread it. Now, being on keto, what you need to do is you need to bread it with my homemade breading, which you'll find a video linked on the description. At the top, you'll see a link, a card, and that will show you how to make basically zero carb breading that tastes just as good as any breading in any restaurant that you can use to make these with. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pound some more of these out. I'm going to cook some up and then we'll come back and show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, I got my lovely assistant over there starting to fry up the boneless tenderloins or the, the breaded tenderloin sandwiches, I'm sorry. And now what I'm doing here is I made four butterfly pork chops and I pounded them out a little bit. If you pound them out more, you can make them into tenderloins too, but I pounded them out a little bit with the tenderizer and now I'm seasoning them. I like to use some Lowry seasoned salt garlic powder and black pepper that's plenty uh, you can use anything you want but that's what I recommend on them and then you just throw them on the grill they take a few minutes to cook and we'll be back to show you how to dress them up at the end okay so here comes the finale the grand finale my favorite part when you put it together and eat it and now for those of you who might not have ever had a pork tenderloin sandwich what do you do with it well, I'm gonna have my lovely assistant bring over one and set it here on the bun these are the homemade hamburger buns that I made a, a video on. So if you want to know how to make some really good hamburger buns, there you go. You got the video. I'll put it right up there in the up at the top in a, in a card that you can click on and go find out how to make these wonderful buns. So I like to take put a little bit of onion underneath. Not too much. I used to put a lot more on before. But I put a little bit of onion on there. Get a little shot of ketchup. No sugar added ketchup on there. You might say, well, it looks kind of familiar. I think this is similar to how I make a hamburger. Yeah, you make it exactly like a hamburger. You put a little, little bit of tomato on there, and slice of lettuce, put your bun on top. There's a breaded tenderloin sandwich. Anyone in the Midwest will know what that is. Now, the same thing goes with a grilled. It's grilled, you could call this a grilled tenderloin, but it's a, a butterfly pork chop, same thing. And you mix it up the same way. You put a little bit of whatever you like on there. Onions, pickles, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, whatever. You just throw some on there, you make them up. That's, that's what I like to do. Make them up like so. A little tomato on top and some lettuce. And away we go. So, if you like food, you want to know how to make it, there you go. That's how you take a pork tenderloin, a whole pork loin, boneless pork loin, and you cut it down and you make fried pork tenderloin sandwich out of it, which is also known as a schnitzel. If you've ever had schnitzel, that's what it is, exactly the same. And a grilled pork chop, or also could be called a grilled tenderloin, either way you want to go with it, a butterfly pork chop. And also, boneless pork chops which I threw in the freezer for a later date but you can make them any way you like too. You could cut it up into little cubes. Watch my slicing and dicing video. Use the same techniques on there to slice and dice this up into little cubes and make one of my one skillet meals from my one skillet meal video. There's all kinds of good things here on Putt Nuts so shop around on the channel and see what there is out there that you like. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and give me that thumbs up. That thumbs up is so important. So I thank you once again.